So I just wanted to say thank you for all of your kind words, your warm wishes, and your prayers. Um, saw my surgeon today, and he said everything went, looks really, really good. And I explained to him that I'm having some pain. I'm not going to say discomfort, because discomfort, you know, we all know what that means. When someone says it's just... It's uncomfortable, or you're going to have a little discomfort. No, it's pain. Well, let's get real. It's pain. So, I've had a lot, um, some difficult times with this, where the drain was. Um, even though the, the bag was on the left side, or the, whatever you want to call it, the ball, the grenade-looking thing for the drain was on the left side, it was... It was like, not wired, I don't want to say wired, but it was inserted inside, like from in the left side. It was inserted in the left, weaved in through across my abdomen, all the way to the right where they reconnected the bowel. So, because I had a bowel resection. Um, unfortunately, with all the testing that I had done, did not show, none of the tests showed that I had two, not one, but two, um, narrowings or strictures in two different spots they were located. So I haven't had a bowel resection in 21 years. I think I was 14 or 15 years old. So this is all new to me. I mean, now they do it laparoscopically, which is wonderful. They don't have to open you up all the way. You don't have to have this massive incision from top to the bottom. So my incision is literally like three inches long. It's not bad at all. So that's really good. That's not too bad to have surgery. Even though I, it took me a little longer to get things going. Um, I guess because of my age or or whatever, because I was in there seven days when sometimes people are out in and out like three to four days. So everyone's different. Everyone, everybody is different. So my intestines decided to take a little vacation after the fact. They've been overworked for a while now, anyway. So, so I did all the walking. I did all the you know, followed the directions what the doctors kept saying. You know, you gotta walk, 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 wake everything up so you can get on the move, everything on the move on the inside to start working again. Apparently your intestines decide to go to sleep for a while when you're under anesthesia as well as your lungs. I'll show you my bestest friend in the world. Not this little bad boy if you could say okay this you have to breathe in they give you a um a goal every day where they want you to blow into and you have to blow this little bottom thing here if you could see no you can't see this here they want it to blow you have to blow in no, 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 you have, you have inhale in, and has to reach a certain point. The first day I was barely getting it to there, then all the way up there, you know, eventually they kept moving it up. So, they kept moving it up, and eventually I got to where I needed to be, because the lungs, like I said, it goes on a, a freaking vacation, <laughs> and eventually have to cough and blah 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 disgusting details you don't want to know about trust me um what else I'm trying to think what else i wanted to say i had it all in my mind thank the thank yous I, I got that part out i believe thank you to everybody of course, thank you to my mom and dad and my husband the most. They were there every single day. Um, it's it's a big toll to put on that on your family and 
your loved ones to drive back and forth to New Jersey to, to I was gonna say New Jersey to Florida whoa hello <laughs> um, New Jersey to New York I mean it's about a 45 minute ride then considering you know traffic um, George Washington Bridge had a massive problem the first week the middle of the first week I was there and one lane was open on the top level so that was kind of a nightmare um, so my husband decided to take the train from Newark to New York so it was easy for him but for my parents they would have to drive and my dad would take the lower level, which still is a nightmare. I mean, I believe they only had one lane open on the bridge on the top level. And so that's that. I mean, it's, it's a lot to ask for. I mean, going back and forth to the city, you know, and then when they get there, having to help me. Um, Mom was a huge help huge help. I don't know what I would do without her. Honestly, she is my rock, my best friend. Um, I don't know how I can ever repay her. I don't think I ever will be. I mean, she's been through this more than anyone can ever imagine. More times than she would ever want to. And I guess I was too young to remember, but my surgeon is her surgeon, and as well as my brother's surgeon. And when the surgeon came in to visit me, he's like, I remember when I operated on your mom every year for five years in a row. Every year. Every year the woman had to have surgery and not just, I mean, they don't do it like they do it now laparoscopically where it's the incisions like this little then they were opening her up like seven to nine inches maybe maybe that long maybe longer I'm not sure so to do that every year for five years straight raising three kids having her husband there with her it's not easy my biggest fear is you know that my son gets this and I pray to God every day that he doesn't he's almost 15 and he's doing amazing and I thank God that so far so good he is healthy there's nothing to complain about with him he's your typical teenager and they're playing Xbox as we speak um, so thank God I mean you know, teenage years is what we have to worry about. I was diagnosed at 13. My brother was diagnosed at 15, I believe. Or was it? Yeah, 15. Because shortly after I was diagnosed, he was diagnosed. So it's not an easy disease. We all, you know, look at me now. Like, yeah, I have makeup on, and but I feel like the life has been sucked out of me today and I haven't even done much it's just the ride to New York City, the bumps it's painful that way you know with that soreness coming from the drain where it, where the drain was inside internally not where it was outside so that's all healed and perfect my incision is all healed up um, I got the green light to go swimming, um, so that's a good thing. It's like little things, but right now I feel like I've had the life drained out of me. I'm ex super exhausted. Yeah, even though this this video is like 10 minutes long, but I like to talk. <laughs> and now my mommy's gone and I can't talk to her unless I call her on the phone. And of course, she knows that I am going to call her constantly, of course. It's my buddy, that's my best friend, my inspiration. I don't know what I would do without her. I always say, you know, tell Dad hello too. I don't, I don't want him to feel like I'm ignoring him because he is amazing too. He does 
help a, a lot. He helps us a lot. So, alrighty. I'm going to call it a night because I am exhausted. Even though I'm talking for 10 minutes. But I'm a talker, so that's what I do. Uh huh. And then it gets silly when I'm this tired. Oh. So, thank you again to everyone for your kind words, your thoughts, your prayers. All felt, for sure. Definitely felt. Felt something in the hospital that was giving me determination and the strength to go on. Not just the medication, not just my little buddy, the pump. Boom. <laughs> but, uh, sorry. My hair is in a ponytail today and itchy when it's too tight. It's like all pulled back like it's like instant facelift. Bam! Not that I need it. I got a big old forehead. Okay. I know I'm getting silly and tired. Okay. Thank you again. Love you all. And I will you will see me on Facebook posting selfies posting, I don't know, makeup stuff, go back to the same old stuff that I post. I love my makeup stuff. Me and my cousin can talk about it for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Alrighty. So, last, last time again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you, all of you, all of you, thank you. And I'll talk to you guys soon via Facebook. This will be the one and only video that you will see of me. I'm just doing this out of deliriousness. That's got to be it. <laughs> Alrighty. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening. If you made it this long for 12 minutes and 20-something seconds. Talk to you soon. Bye.